As we know, war causes a lot of displacement, and Americans living in Ukraine are no exception. Joining us now is Juan Tech, an American teacher who is married and a father of two, trying to get out of Ukraine as we speak. Juan, first off, let us just say that we are so sorry for the predicament that you're in and what you have to endure. Give us a sense of where you are right now. Uh, on the way to Poland, uh, close to Lviv, we've been on the road for several hours. It was supposed to be a seven-hour ride to Lviv and then four more hours to Poland. has turned into more over 15, almost, almost 15 hours. It's just uh, complete chaos. You can see the grid lock behind me, and then here's a line to the gas station. <laughs> And we've seen a lot of the, the footage of, of the traffic. And so how much further do you have to go until you get to Poland? And, and what's your plan once you get there? You know, right now it's hard to say how long it's going to take just because uh, there's there's always new car accidents and uh, the, the map keeps getting updated because of new traffic or whatever. So I'm not really sure when we're going to make it. I know I'm prepared to drive all night. Uh, our plan to when we get to Poland, we have uh, friends waiting for us in Krakow. They're expecting us uh, when we arrive. We don't know when we're going to arrive, but they're, they're expecting us. And when you arrive, you don't know how long you're going to stay, I imagine. <laughs> I, I want to I wanna believe that I will come back because we left so many things behind. We. We, we have a family and we were we, we have a, we had a life and, and here and now everything's just uncertain and it's, it's just it just I really don't know uh, how to express myself right now because uh, I, I want to say that I want to come back next week but I really don't know how long it's gonna take and uh, yeah what have the last 24 hours been like for you it's just uh sort of a blur, but also just uh, shocking and uh, mesmerizing. I woke up to a phone call from a friend in the, in the middle of Kiev. He heard the blast, and then I heard a blast after that, and then uh, planes above, and then uh, we just been packing, discussing, which, which, should we stay, should we leave? And and the, the baby's crying, you know, the baby's in a different world, so we're, we're trying to accommodate for that. And, and you know, we had the grandma visiting us, the, my, my wife's grandma was visiting us and it, it we ended up leaving uh and, and on the road it was scary as well we saw a drone get shot down uh, the ukrainians uh the ukrainian military shot down a russian drone and we saw that and that was quite shocking because uh you can't really go anywhere you're stuck in traffic and uh, it's just been like this all the way uh, up to now do you feel safe right now Yes and no. I feel safe because we. I see other Ukrainians and they're all remaining calm. I, I'm, and that also, everybody's also behaving really nice. We're all trying to, we're all kind of like watching out for each other. So that makes me feel safe because there's Ukrainians here are really looking after each other. They're, they're not driving crazy. They're not cutting off each other. They're actually helping out each other. And that makes me feel safe. What makes me feel unsafe is, I don't know, uh, I don't know, if a Russian attack can come from anywhere. I, I, that what's, that's what makes me unsafe. But we don't know uh, when they can strike or what could happen now because there's so much uncertainty and, and misinformation going around and we don't really know what's going, going on at the moment. For days now, there has been this thought that, that war was imminent. Um, but our reporters on the ground there in Ukraine have said that, that people who were there, residents, were still going about their daily lives. Were you kind of in disbelief that this might happen? Did you, were you thinking that it would? What, what's been your, your frame of mind? I was right there with the Ukrainians uh, because my life is here. I'm a, I'm a school teacher, and despite the warnings I was getting from the embassy, I was staying put. We were staying put. All my students were showing up. They were all here. Everybody's here. The schools, you know, were open. The staff was showing up. My my colleagues were there. So I wasn't going to leave. I was uh, I was here in solidarity with them, and uh, we just thought it was gonna it wasn't gonna turn out like this. And I think it's been a big shock for everybody here in Ukraine. They they didn't really expect it. And we, you know, I, I told this to uh, many Ukrainians that, you know, I was really scared and, and they, they, were, they kept 
reassuring me that nothing was going to happen. This modern world, who's going to drop bombs in another place that's uh, quite developed or uh, where, you know, there's lots of children and families but it's happening. Uh, they're, they're, they're bombing places and they're hurting people. There's so many families and kids. It, it really hurts me because I'm, I'm a father. I have a two-year-old and I don't know who has the heart to do such things like that. You know, uh, kids are innocent. They have no idea of what's war and they're being dragged into this. And it just, it just, that's, that's what really bothers me a lot. Do you feel that you're getting the support from our state department that, that you're entitled to as a U.S. citizen? I, I I can say yes. I I can't complain. They did warn us several times. They gave us. Uh, I would receive. I received emails from the U.S. Embassy on a daily basis. And as far as I'm concerned, there's a welcome center at the border in Poland. And they also updated us with information on how to cross the borders, uh, all all from Romania, Moldova, Slovakia, and Poland. So they they were doing a good job keeping us informed. They were doing what they could. Uh, I think it was our responsibility. If we chose to stay for our own reasons, then, you know, it was our responsibility. And 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 they accepted that, and, you know, they understood that, that we took that responsibility, most of us because we have families here. I'm not the only American here who has a, a, a Ukrainian family. I know another one who, who's also near uh, Kiev who couldn't get out because uh, I, I would say we're fortunate to have a car at least. Not many people do. So they don't really have any other means of transportation, especially now with with, uh, with the shortage of gas. The gas stations are closed, or they're just not there's not enough gas, or the buses aren't operating. And uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I on the road you see all weird things. I, we saw families stranded, and they, they were trying to hitchhike all together with their bags. You know, it's just it's just th th these type of sites are just really, uh, really quite bleak and depressing and, and just frustrating as well. And I'm just, just really make you angry. Do you have enough gas to make it to Poland, do you think? I, I kept the, the tank full for over a week and a half uh, ever since I was concerned. I, so the, it was ready. It was full. And I just filled it up again uh, not too long ago. I. And now I'm back down to half a tank because all the traffic to gas just runs out really fast. So I might just make a line here and get some more gas, actually, since this traffic is not going anywhere. Just, just, just to be sure, because the last thing I want to do is run out of gas. I've seen several cars that are stranded, and I, I'm assuming they either run out of gas, they have engine problems. But you, I don't want you don't want to be stranded when it's cold outside and cars are just passing by. What do you say to, to your fellow Americans who say, look, this conflict is in Ukraine, it's, it's not our problem? I think uh, we're all humans, and uh, if, you, uh, if, if you have sympathy for, for people who are just trying to live a, a, a regular life, who want to have a family, who, who want the basic things like uh, security and, and a future and, and leisure time and, you know, just... Uh, just, just basic human needs. I think this is everybody's war. To be honest, this is this is a violation of, of, of human basic rights. We here, most Ukrainians, you know, they they work hard for what for what they what they have. You know, they 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 earn it. They they want to raise good families. They they want the best education for their kids. My students were bright. You know, and all this was just disrupted. <laughs> Because of uh, political reasons, that that really just 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 makes my blood boil. Because now now look at this. You, you really think uh, people really want to be in this situation with uh, whatever their minimal uh, the things that they value the most. They, they pack it up in these cars. You know, we packed as much as we could in my in our car. We left a lot of things. Everybody left things. All these people, and they're 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 moving on with their families, with their kids, and they're doing it. They're they're willing to sacrifice this because they really care about their families. And I think in the U.S. they would be able to sympathize with that too. If if uh, if everybody loves their family, if such a thing was happening, you could only imagine. If you can only graph what you can take and what would matter at that moment. Certainly can sympathize, Juan, and, and I know my heart goes out to you, and especially as a parent, and, you know, you're bringing your kids along with you, and uh, I'm certainly feeling for you. So we're wishing you all the best and, and hope that you're able to stay safe and, and make it to your friends in Poland. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Lindsay.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.